Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I am making a pineapple upside down cake. This is everything you're going to need. Some vanilla instant pudding, a basic yellow cake mix, some pineapple slices, brown sugar, butter, eggs, and maraschino cherries, and a little bit of milk. Let's get started. Okay, so first I opened up my pineapple can and I'm going to put the juice separated because you are going to need that juice. Okay, we're going to need it later. So right here I have my can, my pineapple. Okay, and so what you're going to do with your pineapple is you're going to cut them in half. Like this. Okay, so you're going to need pineapple halves. So I'm going to do that to all my pineapples. Okay, so first, a big concern for me is that the cake does not stick. So I like to spray them. I like to spray the pan with a non-stick spray, especially that center point, just to make sure it won't stick. So I spray the heck out of my pans. <laughs> Okay, a melted stick of butter. I'm going to put that right in the center. Okay, now this is my brown sugar. Okay, I'm going to put that. I'm going to just put this all over the bottom. Okay. Move that around. Okay. So now we're gonna do the pineapples and the maraschino cherries. Okay, so you're gonna get a pineapple and you're gonna get a cherry and a pineapple. Just like that. Okay. It's really not that hard to get these to stand up. And it's best to put, try to put your cherries as close to the, the middle as you can because sometimes they do slide outwards. Okay, let's go to the cake part. Okay, I raised the camera just so that you guys could see what's going on better. So this is the vanilla instant pudding. Here's the cake mix. I'm just going to add this. These are three eggs and a third cup of milk. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to mix this up. Here's the extra pineapple juice. Almost forgot. Now I'm going to mix it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to add my cake mix. Okay, so my cake is ready for the oven. I have a 350 degree oven and we're going to put it in there for about 45 minutes. That's how long it took me the last time. I've only made this cake one time. And I'm really hoping it comes out this time as well. So, let's see. Okay, so here's my cake. It's right out of the oven. And this is the part that is nerve-wracking to me, that it will stick. It terrifies me. So I'm just going to scrape the sides and hopefully it all goes well. Okay, let's do this. Wish me luck. Okay, you got to flip it over. <sighs> okay, let's see. Going to need, this is hot, so you're going to need something to help you take this off. goodness look at this one casualty that's it ah, this is such a pretty cake look at this ah, okay 
This excites me. When it comes out beautiful. <laughs> okay, this came out good. <laughs> Success. I'm making it for my friend's daughter's birthday today. She's six. My friend's daughter is sweet 16 today. And she's so upset because it's uh, pandemic time. So she can't see her friends and she can't have a real party. So we're making her a parade and this is the cake. I think it comes out. It came out good. It came out good. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.